Hey guys, so today I'm hanging out with my girl. Hi. And we are at the Crossings Outlet, which is not too far from where I live. And just hanging out, um, there's really no intention of, you know, searching for anything in particular aside from a couple of pots that I want to get. But I just came across a book warehouse, book outlet store, and I kind of saw something through the window that caught my eye. So we're going to go inside and see if what I thought I saw is correct. My goodness, I could spend all day here. This is awesome. I saw a puzzle box. I have no idea what this is. A puzzling place to stash your secrets. Empty? Any of you guys know what a puzzle box is? This is obviously a different type of puzzle. Metal mind benders, pocket puzzles. I guess with these you have to detangle them. I've never seen that before. That's interesting. They got different ones. We got some pop culture ones here. We got Chucky, 1000 piece. That's Aquarius as well. Looks like most of these here are Aquarius on this shelf. And then we have, what brand are these? The OP puzzles? This is a Zelda. Never heard of the OP. I'm gonna have to pick up one of those brands at some point. And we have others up there as well from the OP. Now I've one of you guys mentioned these to me, and this is an escape puzzle. This is by Ravensburger, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't exactly know what an escape puzzle is. I mean, I love the image, that's a cool image, but what exactly do you do here? Medium difficulty. Well, I guess if I read the back, I'd know, right? Read the story, assemble puzzles and reveal riddles, solve riddles, and piece together your escape. This sounds like an interesting challenge. I'm going to have to pick one of these up at some point. I wish I knew what the price was. This is cool. If any of you have um, experience with these escape puzzles, let me know down below what they're like. Um, do you recommend them? Are they fun? Let me know. And if you ever find a puzzle place as well, you're most likely gonna find uh, puzzle accessories as well. So they have all the puzzle sorting trays. They even have a Mickey Mouse head shaped one. We got puzzle glue, puzzle keepers, glue sheets, a whole accessory kit, which is pretty darn cool. That has a mat, it has sorting trays, and it comes with the glue. That's pretty awesome. That's $40. Oh wow, this is a great starter kit. If you're a new time puzzler and you wanna grab some cool accessories, that's a nice kit to have. We have a mat from Ravensburger that holds up to 1,500 pieces. How much is this? That's $21.99 and we have our sorting trays. It looks like Ravensburger do um, the trays in a six pack now. Mine was an eight pack. Let's see, this doesn't have a price on it. How about the Mickey Mouse ones? No price. Probably only at the register. I love these. Doesn't this take you back to the blockbuster days? We have the Disney movies, and these are $14.99, 500 pieces by Cardinal. We know that brand. We have Hercules, Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Peter Pan. I'm gonna have to pick those up at some point. And then all of these here are White Mountain puzzles, which I don't think I have any White Mountain ones, but nice selection. These are $18.99. I don't know if that's a typical price for White Mountain puzzles. I'm gonna have to look into that. I am loving these images. This seems very, this brand seems to like look retro in some ways, but they got some of these, some of this style here as well. That looks fun. I wish I had a room in my house that looked like this. This is beautiful. Oh, drive-ins. I always wanted to go to a drive-in. Do they even exist anymore? We have a very nice selection of Harry Potter items. Now check this out. This is a prime 3D puzzle, and this is a flat jigsaw. 
but the pieces are 3D. That's cool. Some 3D puzzles here. I think Hogwarts is gonna have to be one of them next time. I'm gonna have to pick this up at some point. Now that I have a little bit of experience with 3D puzzling, we also have Diagon Alley and the Boro. This is awesome. How much do these cost? $27.99 for 126 piece. That's not bad. How about Hogwarts? 32. That would be more expensive. Oh, 3,000 piece Hogwarts set. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to pick that up at some point. How much is that? Ooh, it's a big box as well. That's 35. That's not bad. 3,000 pieces. I just don't know where I put it. We have a bunch of Cobble Hill puzzles and they're pretty much spread out throughout this whole area. But we got some here with some awesome patterns on them. How much are these here? These are $18.99 as well. I know my local supermarket has some Cobble Hill and I think they're like $12.99 there, but they don't have these particular sets. We have uh, Milton Bradley puzzles. I don't have any Milton Bradley. I wonder how, how there's puzzle. Oh, Cardinal. It's actually Cardinal. Milton Bradley or Cardinal? They're probably from the same company now that I think about it. Then we have Gallison. I've heard of Gallison. I gotta pick up one of those. And Crazy Art, Seiko, Masterpieces. We have Willow Creek brand and some Ravensburger there. Ravensburger here are ranging, I've noticed from the other ones I looked at, from about $25 to $35. And I'm sure that's dependent on how many pieces you get. Oh, I like this one. That's pretty. We have the Springbok ones. How much are these here? $17.99. That's a cool one. What brand is this? Oh, I don't really see the brand on this. Hmm, mystery brands. I think this is the, from Go? I'm guessing that's the brand name. We have a beautiful Starry Night puzzle. That's really cool. If you're into like artwork like that, that's a cool puzzle. We got some more Cobble Hill up here. And these Minecraft ones. I think I might grab a Minecraft one. I don't know. There's two different ones. We'll see. There's too many to choose from. But I feel like I have to get something while, I, while I'm here. It'd be crazy not to. I'm just deciding which ones to get, really. We got some holiday ones down here. And we have a nice selection of Batman and Star Wars puzzles. We got a couple more 3D ones here with Iron Man head. Well, helmet, that is. Oh, wow, look at this one. This is a Harry Potter map. Oh, that is cool. That's a Ravensburger too. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. They also carry some kids puzzles here as well, which is fun. I might pick one up for my girl since she's actually here with me. I'll see if she wants one. We got more from this brand Go. Those are some nice ones. They got some scenery from different places. Oh, oh, I could see myself running in that field. Oh, I like this Cobble Hill one. Yep, I could see myself sitting on that chair there. I think I'm gonna have to get me a flat jigsaw of Neuschwanstein at some point too. That is awesome. That's my house, man. Ooh, let's go on a camping trip. Ooh. Check out this Pixar one. This is a thousand piece Ravensburger puzzle. Got all your favorite Pixar movies. How much is this one? Ooh, $20. That's not bad. That's cool. Ah, uh, we got some more Seiko. We have Buffalo down here. Oh, there's a Goliath. I've never heard of Goliath. Any of you tried this brand? Premium blue board, superior quality and exceptional fit. Oh, that's fun. We got more like the 500 piece Cobble Hill sets here. Oh, look at that log cabin. I could see myself there on vacation. We got this one here. I'm not a big fan of flying, so I don't know. I don't think I want to see myself in that image. That plane looks too flimsy to me. Oh, handbook for the recently deceased. This is an OP. Oh, this is cool. That's awesome from Beetlejuice. How much are you? $20. Oh, that's going to be a pickup at some point. We got some animal puzzles here. 
Cobble Hill. We have Mad Cat Puzzles. Is that what it is? That's a different brand. I never heard of that one. We have more of these White Mountain ones with lots of stuff going on. I love breakfast. I really do. There's a lot of places here that I love going to eat breakfast at. That's fun. I might pick that up at some point. Oh, check these out. Little cereal boxes. That's cool. These are 100 piece puzzles. I think I've actually seen this at my supermarket though. And we got a big box here. This is like more like the food related ones. I really like how they have this place laid out. Very well organized. Aside from that there, I think my daughter put that there. I'll have her put it back. Oh, look, a farm market. Oh, that's my kind of puzzle. It's a fruit stand. That's beautiful. I'd shop there. Oh, look at that. That is so cozy. That's me. Oh my God, this picture's perfect. Look, that's me. I'm sitting down having my coffee. Except I don't know whose dog that is. I don't have a dog. That's beautiful. That could be my girl back there with a random dog as well. Got me some food here too. Oh man, this is perfect. And it's a Ravensburger. My haven. Oh, how much are you? $21.99. That's beautiful. I love that. That's, that's really immersive. Ooh, ice cream. Mm. Oh my God. Cookbooks. I love cookbooks. This is going to be a definite at some point. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. $18.99? That's pretty, that's pretty darn awesome. Oh my God, that's fun. Oh, I love diners too. This is too cool. I love food. All right, now what to choose? Hmm. It's gonna take me a while to figure this one out. This place is fantastic. Again, I could stay here all day. Aside from all the book selections, I mean, this is an awesome find. I'm so happy we stopped here. All right, I don't know what to do. There's so many puzzles here. The selection is ridiculous. I might be a little while longer trying to figure out what to do. I shouldn't exceed two puzzles because to be honest, they're not on sale. So they're a little bit up there in price, but you know, sometimes you just gotta treat yourself, you know? So we're back now. That place was absolutely amazing. I couldn't believe how many puzzle sets there were. And me and my daughter were laughing because on the outside, the sign basically said like bookstore, something to the effect. But really, there weren't that many books in there. It was mostly like games and calendars and puzzles and some books, but really not enough to warrant calling it a bookstore. But I'm not complaining. We could have spent hours just browsing everything but i did walk out of there with i know i said it was going to be two it ended up being three really i wasn't expecting to buy any puzzles today so it was a bit of a like a unexpected stop that turned into a unexpected puzzle haul so i was talking to the cashier for a little bit and the store is actually called go and it's funny because when i saw the bag when she was putting my boxes inside i realized this is the logo I saw on some of those puzzle sets on the wall. So it seems like this is the actual store of that puzzle brand, which is pretty crazy. I kind of wish I picked up one of those, but next time, and there will be a next time. So I made it a point to buy sets from brands that I don't currently own or, you know, something that's different from what I have. Let's just cut to the haul. This is what I got. So I have been really wanting to try this brand because I see this one in my supermarket and some of you have mentioned this one to me. Our first one is from Cobble Hill. It is called Venetian Cafe and this is a 1000 piece puzzle and it is 26.625 by 19.25 inches when it's completed. This one does include a poster inside which is cool. You know I love me some posters. And the back of it has some information on the company. I cannot wait to try this puzzle. There was something about this one that just like, talk about transporting into an image. I love Venice. We have the gondolas on the side here. That's waiting for me to hitch a ride. 
I decided to stop at this beautiful Trattoria on the way and just have a seat and have a drink with some food. Look at those pastries in the window. Wouldn't you want to stop there? That cat looks suspicious to me. I don't know if I want him staring at me while I eat. But aside from that, what a relaxing image. The next one that I picked up is a puzzle from another brand that I don't currently own. And this one is called Breakfast Table. And this is from the company White Mountain. It is 1,000 pieces and it is 24 by 30 inches when it's completed. Oh, look at this happiness guarantee on the back here. We will replace your puzzles for free if you are not happy. How will they know if I'm telling the truth and I'm just trying to collect all of them for free? Don't do that. Now, White Mountain Puzzles looks to be a brand that I'm probably also going to get hooked on because of their images. I'm really loving this retro look here. I mean, come on. For one, breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. If I had the time and energy in the mornings, I would have fresh waffles and pancakes and eggs, bacon, sausage, like the works. Biscuits, sausage, gravy, everything. But anyways, look at this image here. I love this. The kids are obviously having their breakfast right before they go catch that school bus. Though, to be honest, the school bus is there and she doesn't even have her shoes on yet. So they're probably going to miss the bus today. But aside from that, I really love the look of this kitchen. This is very much a 50s style kitchen, I believe. Judging from the top of the box, this set looks to be part of a series called General Mills. And, you know, that makes sense to me because I see a bunch of their cereals plastered here on the front. I don't understand why these kids would choose to have cereal instead of these wonderful pancakes that the mother has brought over. I totally have the pancakes. And that's a nice pot in the back. You know there's coffee in there. I could say I can see myself in this image. I mean, aside from the fact that I'm not, you know, tall and blonde. But, you know, that's all right. The father there, he looks nothing like my husband. I think my husband's better looking. That could totally be my daughter there. That looks like her. The little boy in the back, I don't know who he is. I don't have a son. He could be, let's say, my nephew. And that's my nephew's dog down there. I'm not one to have dogs over, but, you know, he could stay. Such a fantastic image. And I love, love all the images in the back as well. These look like so much fun. This is definitely going to be a brand that I start, you know, kind of collecting more of because the images are just too fun to look at. Now, lastly, I do have Ravensburger puzzles, but this is a type of set that I not only do not own, but I have no clue how this works. And this is an escape puzzle. This one is called Space Observatory. It is 759 pieces. I've never owned a puzzle with odd numbers. That kind of bothers me. It is 27 by 20 inches when it's complete. Apparently, you can play this between one to four players, which is interesting. And it has a difficulty level of three out of five. I don't know what that means in escape puzzle terms, but, you know, we'll see, right? And the image is very cool. I love the whole, you know, solar system space kind of stuff. So that's kind of another reason why I picked this one as well. But I'm going to be honest. As I said, I, I have no clue how to go about escape puzzles. But after reading the back here, and the back does give you a little insight as to what you have to do. You have to read the story, assemble the puzzle, and reveal riddles, solve riddles, and piece together your escape. I have no idea what this means. It also says on the bottom that it contains a booklet with the story and instructions. And an envelope containing the answers to your escape. Um, okay. I still have no clue what to expect with this. This is going to be a very interesting challenge because aside from having to solve where the pieces go, I mean, it seems like there's going to be riddles that you have to solve and I mean, you have to escape together. What does that even mean? I'm going to be honest. I'm getting a little tense about this. Do these puzzles usually make you feel a bit tense? Let me know down below um, if you've tried escape puzzles. And if so, do other brands have these? Or let me know which particular sets you've tried. Well, that was good stuff. Again, you know, I wasn't expecting to, you know, shop for puzzles today. But, you know, I guess it was just meant to be. If my daughter didn't notice that store, we would have never known that all those puzzles were there. But anyways, I'm going to look more into this company, Go. Let me know if you have heard of this company. I've never heard of this, so this is very interesting. Especially considering that they carry an entire brand of their own puzzles, which is really cool. Now, this was my first time doing a shop with me video. I'm not gonna lie, I felt a little strange filming in the store, but thankfully there was really no one else in there aside from maybe one person. So 
it was all right. As you can probably tell from the funny camera angles, it's not something that I'm used to doing, but I'm sure in time with practice, I will get better at it. So stay tuned in the future for more Puzzle Shock With Me videos. I think this is gonna be fun. If there's any stores in particular that you'd like me to kind of check out, I can see if I have them in my area and I can try to do a video there as well. If you wanna tag along with me on other Puzzle Shop With Me videos, be sure to subscribe so that you can, you know, kind of tag along with me on these adventures and see what else I pick up. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.